Okay, so the next activity is really fun. The students are going to do it over two days. They're going to do um, a Stella soap carving activity. So in the opening of The Lightning Thief, the main characters are in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in the classical Greek wing, and they're looking at ancient Greek stellas, and these are um, funerary stones or headstones carved out of marble. And you can teach them the term bas relief, which means low relief. And that means that they're a little bit 3D. And so the background recedes just a little, but it's low relief. So it's not like they're super popping out at you. It's pretty shallow how far it recedes into the background. And so you can talk about it with the students. They're going to try to carve away the background and have the figure pop out a little bit at you, which is a little hard to do. And we're doing it with soap. And in two days, no less. And so they're not gonna get a final piece that looks like this at all, but they're gonna have fun trying. So, and you can too, you can practice this. Um, give them some time to do a little sketch. So my sketch, she kind of looks like a deer, not really a person, but just to get just a basic outline of the figure. And then once they're comfortable with the image they're gonna have, you can have them, I did this a little bit ahead of time, um, I just used a pencil and none of the none of the lead actually came on. I carved that basic shape of the girl looking at the book into the soap. And then I'm just gonna start carving away. And this is a messy activity, so uh, have newspapers spread out and they could work over uh, a paper plate just like this to catch all the soap carvings. The soap actually gets a little bit slippery too, especially if your hands are a little bit moist or sweaty, which is kind of gross. Um, so have paper towels and baby wipes available for students to continually wipe down their hands. Uh, the carving tools that we suggested you buy are orange manicure sticks, and these are a little bit pointy. They're not super, super sharp, but they are pointy, so do go over safety rules. But they have a pointy end here and then kind of a slanted end here where students can use that to kind of carve into the soap. And then... Um, a plastic knife, <laughs> which is good for carving away bigger pieces, especially as I kind of get rid of the background. And then if you have some of these um, bamboo skewers available from the kite activities or any of the other activities, these are good for carving as well. Although, you know, they're kind of like the manicure sticks, so you don't necessarily even have to have the bamboo skewers. They're a little bit redundant. So once they have their basic outline, really what they're gonna have to do is go in and work on detail. And so if they're, if they're modeling it after this exact Stella, uh, we printed out enough color copies for each group to share the set of three Stellas. You could also, if you have access to the internet in your room, allow the kids to look online for different, maybe easier Stellas to reproduce. But they could just go ahead and have fun carving. They do only get one piece, and so you could warn them about that, that if they ruin it, that's it. That's all they're gonna get but you can just see how quickly it flakes away. I'm using the broad end of the manicure sticks. And I'm just getting rid of the background at this point. So I'm kind of carving away all the background so that the figure pops out and up of the girl. And it's kind of going away a lot more quickly than I planned. Um, seeing if my knife gives me a smoother background. And this part of the knife kind of gives me stripes, which I don't necessarily want, so I'm using the other flat edge. And I'm kind of carving that away. So this is going to take forever on camera. I'm going to do it off camera, and I'll show you what I get. Turn this back on again. Um, I'm going to show you again. The thing I found that works best is the flat end of this orange manicure stick. And I'm just shaving away pretty smoothly, whole chunks which is gonna be my background. And I'm leaving the basic shape of the girl. Here's her head right here. She's upside down right now. Okay, and there's her arm. So I'm getting the background out, stopping at her elbow. It's kind of hard to see because it all just looks snowy white at this point. And you're all definitely gonna be very sick of the smell of ivory soap, I assure you, <laughs> by the end of the activity. Okay, so there's her arm. Okay, 
So this doesn't really look like much now. Plus you could see the word ivory carved in there. But you see the basic shape of the girl now. So here's her head. She's looking down. Here's uh, the, well, it's supposed to be a bird. I'm going to turn it into a book maybe that she's looking at. And then here is the front of her dress. Okay, at this point, the students can take their time in getting a detailed line. Cleaning out some background. And they have two periods to do this, so there's really no rush. I'm going to try to rush because I want to get this on camera for you. But yeah, they could work on probably taking away, I would say, so this is the part I'm going to get rid of for the background. So I'm leaving about, oh, almost looks like. So I'm almost carving, before I'm even doing any of the detail, carving back the background about a quarter of an inch. Okay. And then once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to start going in with the detail of her face and her hair. It's a lot of cleaning, cleaning off of like little soap carvings as you go. And again, no rush, so they don't have to rush through it. They have two hours to do this. Okay, so you can see you're a little bit better now. And then I'm gonna go off camera again and carve some more. I'm actually gonna try to carve her face and her hair in to see if you can see the details. I'm gonna show you really quickly a technique that I'm using. Um, that you can show your kids. So after I carved back the background, you have these pretty rough edges here, right? None of our tools really work well for smoothing that out. So I wanted a smoother line for um, the top of her head and then her back shoulder. And I'm just using my thumb and my fingers to smooth out those rough edges. And that works a little bit better than any of the tools. You're still going to use the tools to go back and um, carve in details. But again, to smooth out the background, I'm just using the pads of my fingers and my thumb. That seems to work a whole lot better. Okay. So simple tip right there. That's the back part of her dress. Okay, and then um, they might want to do this for the ivory logo that's carved in if they want to kind of smooth it out a little bit with the pads of their fingertips. There we go. Okay, so that's all. I'm going to go back to carving now. So I've been working on this for about 20 minutes now. You could kind of see, I, I just accidentally cut out the bird so she's not holding a bird, but the shape of the girl right here and then the shape of the girl and the, the color photo. Again, it's not going to be exact, but there's only so much you could do with the ivory soap. Um, but again, the kids are going to have a lot more time to go into the actual detail of it, so theirs will look a lot better. Let me see if I can give you a close-up of what this looks like. And so you can kind of see a little bit better the shape of the folds of her dress. And here's her arm. She's going to be holding a book, and here's her face, and here's her hair.